it's a cloudy, misty, murky start to the day across southern England and Wales. For Northern Ireland, we've got some rain and hill snow moving through and some wintry showers across northern and eastern Scotland getting into northeast England at times. But in between, some sunshine. I'll have more details later. Yeah. Good morning both, good morning to you. Well, there's quite a lot that happening this week, Dan, and apologies because we're having a few technical problems with graphics this morning, but let me explain some of what you can expect at least through the course of this week. So more rain and snow, certainly on the cards. Some of that will be significant snow, particularly so across Scotland, but not exclusively. And it's likely to lead to some disruption. The other thing is that it's going to be milder in the south for a time. We'll see temperatures get back into double figures, but it's not going to last. It will turn cooler again. Talking of being cool, at five o'clock this morning, the temperature in Altnahara was minus 10.1. So across parts of Scotland and Northern England this morning, it's a cold start, it's a frosty start, and there is the risk of ice. The other thing you'll find is there'll be some wintry showers across the north and east of Scotland, some of those getting down to low levels across the northeast of England. Meanwhile, for Southern England and for Wales, Cloudy, murky, damp, there's some mistiness around. This weather front bringing in some rain and hill snow across Northern Ireland through the day. But it's this clutch of fronts that come our way later on that are going to be more potent. Now, if you take a look at the isobars around them, that tells you that it is going to be fairly windy. But this lot of fronts are going to bring in some rain and they're also going to bring in some snow as we go through the overnight period. But if you're wondering what the temperatures are going to be like today, well, they're ranging from two in the north to about seven, eight or nine as we push further south. Hopefully in half an hour, I'll have more graphics. But for now, back to Dan and Lou. Carol. Tried that, Dan. It didn't work. Right. Oh, Carol, you, we feel your pain. Just have a gentle you. chat. Thank Just you. have a gentle chat with it and give it a stroke. I'm sure it'll be if fine. If we could help, if we could help, we would. <laughs> I know you would. Bless you. Thank you, Paul. Oh. Morning. Thanks, Lou. Good morning, both. Good morning to you too. Well, it's a cold start to the day. I can certainly tell you that. If you're in Altnahara this morning in the Highlands, it's minus 10 degrees. And for the next few days, we'll continue with unsettled conditions. There'll be further rain and snow, the heaviest of which will be in Scotland. But we will see some of this at low levels as we will across parts of England. Some disruption is likely as a result, but it will be milder in the south of England for a time. However, by the end of the week, the cooler weather will return. Now, you can see in the satellite picture that we've got cloud coming in across Northern Ireland. That's going to bring some rain and hill snow. We've also got murky conditions across southern England this morning. A lot of low cloud, some drizzle, some mist, some fog. This is the front bringing the rain in across Northern Ireland through the morning with the hill snow. But if I point you to this direction in the Atlantic, this clutch of fronts is going to bring in some heavy rain and also in its leading edge, there will be some snow. And as it approaches, the wind is also going to pick up as well. This is an evening and overnight feature that is coming our way. So today what you can expect are some wintry showers. We've got them already across the north and the east of Scotland. At times some of those will get into the northeast of England. We've got all this dampness, low cloud, murk, misty conditions across England and Wales. And then we've got the rain with the hill snow coming in across Northern Ireland. These are our maximum temperatures, two to nine degrees. So quite a difference north to south. As we head through the evening overnight and into tomorrow, which is what this chart is going to show you, you can see the snow and rain in Northern Ireland pushing across Scotland and Northern England. And then this area comes in bringing rain and on its leading edge as it bumps into the cold air, we'll see some snow and the wind strength increasing. So now we're into what's happening tomorrow and tomorrow Eventually, the rain, sleet and snow will become confined to Northern England and also Scotland, but we'll see a plethora of showers coming in across England and Wales, and some of those will be heavy and thundery. But in between, there will be some sunshine around as well. Once again, apologies for my graphics. You see how mild it is going to be tomorrow, actually. Hopefully, we'll get them fixed very shortly. Lou and Dan. Across England and Wales, southern England that is, it's going to be fairly cloudy, murky, there's some mist and fog around and also some drizzle. Northern Ireland, you've got some rain coming your way with hill snow, there'll also be some wintry showers northern and eastern Scotland, northeast England, but apart from that, there's some sunshine. I'll have more details later in the programme. Morning. Good John, morning, John turned Good morning up. to you. Yes, he has. 
Good on you, John. Good job. Now, what we've got this morning is a cold start to the day, particularly so across Scotland and Northern England. You can see the frost here and also the risk of ice too, actually, on untreated surfaces across Scotland and also Northern England. This weather watcher's picture taken in Haddington in East Lothian. We've also got a lot of cloud murk, some fog around, some mist and drizzle across Southern England and Wales. Some rain and hill snow coming in across Northern Ireland and some wintry showers on and off throughout the day across Northern and Eastern Scotland, some of those getting down into North East England. But it should brighten up West Wales, parts of East Anglia as we go through the course of the day and in between the wintry showers in the North we will see some brightness. Temperature wise, well, three or four in Lurwick to about nine as we push down towards Plymouth and also St Helier. Now, as we head on through the evening and overnight, this band of rain and hill snow moves across northern England and Scotland. There'll be some frost and also the risk of ice. And we've got another system coming in from the west. That too is going to introduce some rain across much of southern England and Wales. But we will see a period of snow, even at lower levels, across parts of the Midlands, possibly into East Anglia for a time, northern England and Scotland. So you could wake up, for example, in the central lowlands with some snow tomorrow morning. So here it is. We've got the rain. Rain, sleet and snow pushing northeastwards. Eventually, any snow will turn back to rain across northern England and eventually southern Scotland. And at the same time, a plethora of heavy thundery showers moving across England and Wales. But look how mild it is. 12 to 14 in the south, but still cold in the north. I'm thrilled to have my graphics back, Lou and Dan. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I wish I looked like Sally. This morning it is a cold start to the day, particularly so across Scotland and Northern Ireland. And as we go through this week, while well, it's going to remain unsettled, further rain and snow to come, some disruption is likely. This is more likely to be across parts of Scotland, maybe Northern England, and it's going to be milder in the south for a time, but that won't last. It'll be colder by the time we get towards the end of the week and next weekend. Now, today what's happening is we've got a weather front in the south. There's a lot of cloud and murk. This weather front bringing in some rain and hill snow across Northern Ireland. And then later, this clutch of fronts is coming our way. It's more potent. It will bring rain and some snow for some of us further north and also strengthening winds. So cloudy and murky and damp across southern England and Wales today. Wintry showers continuing across northern and eastern Scotland. A few at times getting in across northeast England. And here's our band of rain and hill snow crossing northern Ireland. But in between this, there will be some sunshine. It should brighten up actually across West Wales and East Anglia through the afternoon. Temperatures, three in Larwick, four in Aberdeen, six in Liverpool and nine in Plymouth and St Helier. Now, through this evening and overnight, our first front in Northern Ireland with the rain and hill snow moves across Northern England and Scotland. And then the clutch of fronts come in from the southwest, pushing northwards, some heavier rain, stronger winds. And as they bump into the cold air, we'll see some snow across Northern England and Scotland, possibly as far south as the North Midlands, maybe into East Anglia. And we could see some of this falling at lower levels as well. Temperature-wise, it's going to be cold in the north. There'll be some frost. There'll be the risk of ice. But let's look at this in the south. 11 degrees in Plymouth and St Helier. Now, heading on through the course of tomorrow, the rain, sleet and snow that we have across Northern Ireland, Northern England and Scotland pushes northwards and increasingly turns to rain across Northern England and also Southern Scotland. But at the same time, across the rest of England and also Wales, well, we'll see some showers coming our way and some of those will be heavy and also thundery. The other thing is the wind will be stronger across Scotland, so we'll see some of this snow drifting, especially in the north and the east. Temperatures here, threes, fours and fives come further south. Very mild for the time of year, twelves, thirteens and fourteens. Now, through Tuesday night and into Wednesday, our front continues to bring some snow across parts of Scotland. We've also got the second front following hot in its heels, bringing in rain, sleet and snow. And then we've got this system coming across southern areas. So on Wednesday itself, it's a mixture of rain, sleet and snow. Most of it will be in the hills, but in northern Scotland, we could see that getting down to lower levels. We could see some heavy rain, which we don't need coming in across southern areas because, of course, the ground is already saturated. But in between, well, it should be drier and brighter with some sunshine. Still cold in the north, three, fours and fives. Northern Ireland, England and also Wales, quite mild. And then as we head towards the end of the week, one thing you'll notice is the weather still remains quite unsettled, but the temperature is starting to go down. So by the time we get to Saturday and Sunday in Portsmouth, for example, we're looking at fives and sixes instead of the elevens earlier on in the week. Carol and Carol.
<laughs> Thanks, Carol. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here, Carol. Maybe we should change our names to Carol. <laughs> Much easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> morning, Carol. Good morning, everybody. This morning, it's a chilly start to the day, you know, especially so across parts of Northern England and Scotland. But this week, for some of it at least, it is going to be very mild in the south with temperatures getting back into double figures. However, there's more rain and snow in the forecast, potentially leading to some disruption. So today we've got this weather front moving in to Northern Ireland. That's going to bring in some rain and some hill snow. Later in the day, this next clutch of fronts is going to bring rain and snow, especially so the snow across Northern England and Scotland and to lower levels. But first thing this morning, there's a lot of clouds, some mistiness, some murk, some drizzle across parts of England and Wales. Should brighten up later in East Anglia and West Wales. We also have that hill snow and rain coming in across Northern Ireland today and some wintry showers continuing across the north and east of Scotland and at times they'll get into North East England as well. But in between, particularly the further north that you are, there will be some sunshine coming through and our temperatures three in the north to about nine in the south. So as we go through the evening, the rain and hill snow in Northern Ireland transfers into parts of Northern England and Scotland. And at the same time, the more potent clutch of fronts bring rain across much of England and Wales, falling as snow even to lower levels across the North Midlands, Northern England generally, and Southern and Central Scotland. Maybe we'll see some transient snow across East Anglia as well. Cold in the North, the risk of ice and frost, but very mild in the south. I'll have a longer bulletin with more details in about half an hour. Lou and Dan. Unbelievably like this. Absolutely right. Much easier. Thank you. Thanks, Carol. Pleasure. See you in about half an hour's time. Am I smelling salt sight as well, Dan? This morning, it is a chilly start in the northern half of the country. In the south, it's cloudy, it's murky. There's some fog, as you can see here from one of our Weather Watchers picture. And there's also some drizzle. As we go through this week, it remains fairly unsettled with further rain and snow, a lot of which will be across northern England, Scotland and Northern Ireland. And a lot of it will be on the hills. But some of it will get down to lower levels and some disruption is quite possible. Milder in the south as well. We're going to be back into double figures for a time, but it won't last because by the weekend we'll be back down into single figures again. So today we've got this weather front which is producing a fair bit of cloud. We'll see the rain come in with some hill snow, but it's this system later that's more potent. It will introduce stronger winds, some rain and some snow. So murky across much of England and Wales, in the south that is, brightening up a touch in East Anglia, West Wales later on. The rain coming in across Northern Ireland with the hill snow and wintry showers persisting across North and East Scotland and at times some of those will get in across North East England. But there will be some brightness and also some sunshine. Temperatures three in Lerwick to nine in St Helier. Now through this evening and overnight, the hill snow and rain in Northern Ireland moves in across Northern England and Scotland. And at the same time, we've got this more potent clutch of fronts bringing in some rain, bumping into the cold air across the North Midlands, in through the Southern Uplands and also Scotland. And we'll see some significant hill snow from that, particularly in Scotland, but we'll also see some of that down to lower levels. So you could wake up to a covering of snow in the North Midlands, fresh snow this is, and also across the Central Lowlands, for example. There could be some transient snow for a time across East Anglia. But note the temperatures in the southwest, very mild, whereas in the north, still cold with the risk of ice and also frost. Now, as we go through tomorrow, we still have that combination of rain, sleet and snow across Northern Ireland, Northern England and Scotland. Increasingly, it will turn back to rain across Northern England and also the Southern Uplands. And at the same time, we've got a plethora of showers coming in across the rest of England and Wales. And some of those will be heavy and also thundery. But note the temperatures, 12 to 14, very mild once again for this time of year as we come further south, but still pretty cold as we move further north. Now, as we move through Tuesday night and into Wednesday, our fronts move northwards and then we've got this next area of low pressure with its fronts coming in. And that looks like it could bring some heavy rain across southern counties of England through the course of tomorrow, Wednesday, I should say. And also that's falling on already saturated ground, so it's not welcome. The rain, sleet and snow continues Northern Ireland, Scotland as well. But in between, something drier and brighter with some sunshine, Dan and Lou. Oh, thank you very much.